everybody and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program and we have an hour together for yoga. And today we're going to be talking about the transitions between different shapes. So much of the time we focus on the shapes themselves that we forget that there's a whole lot of time by from moving to from one point to the other point in a hurry to already get there. So today we're going to be looking at the transitions, so the in-between spaces. So settle into a place that you feel comfortable. And if it feels better for you to start on a chair, go ahead. There's no right and wrong here. It's all, everything can be adjusted to what it is that you need. So I'm sitting up on something because that feels better for my body. So settle in and settle down adjusting yourself as you settle there to be consciously aware of where it is that you are and how it feels for you. When you're ready, take a full breath in. And exhale slowly all the way out, noticing every part of the exhale and take another few breaths like that. Noticing the inhale all the way to the top and the full exhale all the way down to the bottom. So already we're starting to pay attention to the fullness of our breath rather than simply the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale. When we start to pay attention to the in-between spaces, it allows us to slow down and really um, notice what it is that's happening, how we're feeling, what's going on. And then tune in. Feel free to have your eyes open or closed, lowered or softened. Tune in and notice the space around you not needing to look at it. Notice the support underneath you. And notice all the places that your body is supported by the earth ultimately. Allow yourself to feel that support, so sitting deeply into it. allowing your bones to get heavy into that support too. Notice how you feel today. Just pay attention to what's going on with you. Not the stories, just simply how you're feeling. What's on your mind. how your body feels today. And if there's places you need to take extra care of, there's places that are louder or have tension in, or places that are quieter and feel strong, feel easy. And start to witness your breath as it comes and goes in its own natural rhythm. Starting to lengthen the breath. But again, noticing the entire inhale and the entire exhale, not just the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale. Notice the different places in your body you feel your breath as it comes and goes. We root down into the support underneath us. And then from there, there's a lifting up through the spine, slow and steady all the way as if we're reaching the crown of our head up towards the sky. And 
imagine every inhale you could lengthen up and every exhale this is settling into the ground underneath you. Notice that entire lengthening every inhale and the settling in and down on the exhale. Notice just how much time you have within each breath for all that to happen. Within that, we're going to take our nose all the way over to the right slowly until the place where your left shoulder wants to come forward and keep it stable and still. Those longer breaths here. Now on the inhales, if we're painting a rainbow above us with the tip of our nose, we're going to inhale up. Exhale all the way over towards the left. Inhaling up and over. Exhaling to the right. And again, slowing down, noticing the entire movement rather than just getting from one side to another. Noticing how you feel that in your body, if there's anything you need to adjust for it to feel easier, more comfortable for you. Let the breath guide you. And the next time you come all the way over to the right, we'll stay. Take two breaths there. Next, exhale, drawing the chin down towards the chest and then inhaling up the other side as if this time we're painting a smile in the air. Slow it down, smooth it out. Again, notice the transition. Every single part of the movement, one not being more important than the other. Even the brief pauses at the top of the inhale as it transitions into the exhale. Notice the sounds that your body is moving, of your body moving. Notice the sensations. And the next time that chin comes over to the left, we'll stay there for a few breaths. Noticing if that right shoulder is coming forward. Once again, notice the entire breath. And on that next inhale, we'll come all the way back to center. From there, that right arm comes up. Notice it being here. Notice if you need to adjust it down or bring it up, palm towards the screen towards or on that right shoulder. Rooting to rise, steady breath. From here, we start to circle. Start small with the elbow. Doesn't matter which direction you're going in. Notice how it feels in your body. Upper body strong and steady, crown of the head reaching towards the sky, moving through the shoulder joint. Notice the part of the movement that you are paying the least attention to. And the part that is louder. See if you can evenly split your attention through the entire movement. That movement can get smaller or bigger, your choice. Notice as you change things up, if you do, the different sensations in your body. You can stay here or start to Allow your spine to come along for the movements. 
Allow your gaze to come along to Again, notice every part of the movement. Going at your own pace, you do not have to match mine or anybody else's movement. There's no right and wrong here. Notice which direction you're going in. And on the last exhale, we come back to center. Upper body stable. And then we're going to take that round in the opposite direction. Big or small movements. Stay with the movement for the entire transition of it. And then allow yourself to come with the movement, with the spinal rotation. Gaze coming with you. And then when you're ready, coming back to center, any movement through that right shoulder, please go ahead. Coming to the other side. Steady breath. Arm comes up into a cactus. Now even here, noticing whether it feels better coming down or up shoulder height, palm towards the sky, uh, towards the screen, or fingertips on or towards that left shoulder. Steady breath. And then when you're ready, we're circling. Slow the breath, slow the movement. Rooting to rise, keeping that movement isolated through the shoulder, the spine sturdy and stable. Notice again which part of this movement you're paying the least bit attention to, and which part is the most challenging. See if you can even out that awareness. You can allow that movement to get bigger or smaller, your choice. Noticing what it is that your body's telling you here. The transition all the way around, the option to start to allow your spine to come with you as your heart naturally follows the movement. Again, notice a feeling it feels better for you to rest, to do every other one, to change it up so it feels different, more comfortable for you. Notice which direction you're going in, and we'll come back to center. Rest if you need to. We're taking that round in the opposite direction. Torso, stable and still. Rest again at any point. Pay attention to every part of the breath, every part of the movement, so not one part of the movement is more important than another. And 
awareness to the whole breath, the whole movement, and then option to start to move your heart in the same vicinity. So when the torso starts to get that soft twist involved. two here, you can always rest. And the last one. Coming back to center. Any movement through those shoulders or arms to make it easier for you, go ahead. From here, coming over onto hands and knees. But Allow the transition to happen slowly. Notice what's happening. I'm going to put my hair up. Notice as you move over onto hands and knees how it feels. If you need extra padding underneath your knees, notice how your body feels as you come off your seat and onto hands and knees. So start with the breath. And then start to move slowly into hands and knees, aware of where it is you're placing your body. If you need softness somewhere, readjusting yourself carefully for the next shape. Notice if toes tucked or untucked feel better. Notice how wide you like your foundation. Pushing into your hands, lifting up through the back of the heart. So notice how that changes things. Belly draws in towards your spine to integrate the lower abdominals. Notice your full breath here. Cat and cow. So on the next exhale, push into your hands and knees slowly and make the entire exhale fill the back body. Maybe chin comes down as you gaze towards your knees or a belly button. That's the exhale. Inhale. Belly comes down, sit bones lift, collarbones wide as the gaze lifts for the entire inhale. Allow the movement to last for the entire breath. So we're not simply coming to the end of cat and cow, thinking about the positions as one or the other. And think about the transition between being the yoga. Notice where you feel it in different parts of your body. Two lost cat and cows. Again, awareness to the entire movement, the entire breath, not one part being more important than the other. Coming back to center. And from here, barrel rolling through the ribs. And again, awareness to every single part of that movement as if you're hula hooping through the ribs. Breath is steady and smooth. Movement has every part of your attention in it. Again, notice the part of the movement that you have the less awareness to. And then focus your awareness there for a little. And then we'll take it round in the opposite direction when you're ready. Notice the pause. And then as you start up in the other direction, Really tuning in, slowing everything down to heighten your awareness to your experience of the movement. Mm -hmm. The last one here. 
And coming all the way back to center. Belly draws in, back of the heart lifts. Option to bring the knees into center. Notice how that changes your stability. Extending out with the right leg behind you, toes to the floor. Inhaling forward, all the way to the tip of your toes. Exhaling back as you push through the heel. Option, of course, to come down to forearms if there are any wrist issues. But as you're moving, notice everything that's happening. And then from there, coming to center. On the inhale, option to lift the heel, no more than hip height. Exhale, tapping the toes down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Belly's drawn in, back of the heart lifted. And the leg coming up towards the sky as if it's being lifted from the upper inner left thigh and calf. Again, the transition is the yoga. Rather than getting it to a particular height, Notice the exhale just as much as the inhale. Next time the heel comes up, option to stay. Three breaths here. Pay attention to every part of the breath. Readjust anything that feels like it needs adjusting in your body. And the last exhale, brings the right knee down. Any movement that feels good for you, go ahead. And then extending out the left toes. Belly draws in, back of the heart lifts. Option to stay here, steady breath. Option on the inhale, rocking forward. Notice as you come to the tip of your toes and exhale as you rock through the ball of the foot pushing through the heel. Again, paying attention to every part of the movement. Notice if you're in a hurry to get to one place or the other. And the next time you come forward, Option to stay. Steady the body, steady the breath, inhaling, left heel lifts, exhaling, tapping it down. But the transition of the lifting, just as much as the lowering, has just as much attention as getting to the top and the bottom of the lift. as if the movement is coming from the upper inner left thigh and the inner left calf. Option to stay here. Next time the heel comes up, option to stay. Steady and stable. On the next exhale, knee comes down any movement for you and your body, notice what it is that you need. Coming back to center. And then from here, moving the right hand forward and allowing the right leg to shift out and forward to give it a little help with your hands. Readjust yourself here so you feel stable. Patting the left knee if you need to. Take a breath. 
And when you're ready, hands come to the top of the right thigh. And we're coming up. As you come up, adjusting your body to suit this shape for you. So maybe you want to take that knee further back or further forward, tucking or untucking the back foot. Just get really clear about what it is that you want to do here. The hand on top of the thigh, steady the breath. Fix the gaze about eye height. And on the inhale, option to rock forward with the hips. Exhaling, drawing back. Easing into being in the low lunge. No part of this is more important than the other. Option to stay here, option to come to a place where it feels like you're in the center. If this feels the perfect place for you, then stay. Option to take the hands down and on an inhale, lifting them up. Palms towards each other or as wide or as close together as you like. Steady the breath. Notice how you feel. Root to rise on the inhale. Rising through the whole body away from the foundation, that's the inhale. On the exhale, sinking into the earth and beneath you as you cactus the arms. Drawing the elbows back, collarbones wide, shoulder blades together. Front ribs knitted in. Inhaling, lifting. Exhaling, cactus. And notice how that changes things as you move through the entire breath, as if you're moving through honey. Slowing everything down to place the importance on every part of the breath, every part of the movement. Stay here pulsing or cactusing the arms. Stay here cactusing the arms or slowly interlacing the arms behind you. Knuckles resting on your pelvis. Feel the weight of that resting as the elbows draw back. Front ribs drawn in. Last option, knuckles draw down towards the left knee. As the shoulders roll back, front ribs once again knitted in as we lift up through the heart, maybe through the chin, three breaths, little tiny bend through the elbows to open up the front of the heart space, steady breath, last breath here. Take the exhale, chin comes down, and slowly releasing the hands back to the front thigh. Glancing down, hands come down to that support of the earth and beneath us, and slowly the right leg meets the left. Any movements you need, go ahead. And then when you're ready, left fingertips coming forward, left knee coming round, and the foot comes to the front. Give it a little help if you need to. Notice how you feel here. If you need to pad that right knee, do go ahead. Hands coming up onto the front thigh, and up we come. Aware of everything as you adjust your foundation to suit you. Hands come into the front of the left thigh for support. Front ribs drawing in. Root down through your foundation to lift from there. Great place to stay. 
four, inhaling forward, exhaling back. And we just start to ease into this shape of low lunge. Again, no right or wrong way. Paying attention to everything as we slow everything down. Coming to center. When you're ready, option to stay here, fixing your gaze, steady breath, paying attention to every part of the breath. Option, lifting up on the inhale, exhaling slowly, cactus and shoulder blades come towards each other, elbows and backs of the hands go back and down. Inhaling, reaching, we're lengthening through the whole body from the foundation. Exhaling, sinking back into that foundation. As if you're moving through honey or molasses. Not one part of the movement is more important than the other. Option to stay here, pulsing. Option, next time we come back into cactus to stay. Option to slowly draw the hands back and down, interlace the opposite finger and thumb on top. Knuckles rest on the back of your pelvis, feeling that connection. Elbows draw back, here we are. Front ribs knitted in. Option to stay here. Option to send the knuckles down towards the right knee. Little bend in those elbows. Lifting up through the heart. Maybe the chin lifts. As long as the breath is steady. What do you notice here? Two more breaths. Exhale, chin may come down slowly as if through honey, releasing the hands back to the front of the thigh. Take a breath. Exhale as you look down, the hands come down back to that support underneath you. And slowly the left leg come round and down. Child's pose, knees wide or close towards each other, big toes in towards each other. Slowly on an exhale, seat comes back towards the heels. You can take a, some softness in between if you like, a pillow, a bolster underneath your seat. Staying here, supported child's pose, forearms, stacked fists, a block, or as far down as feels comfortable. Readjusting the knees wide or close together as you need. Inhaling and exhaling, slow and steady. Feel the support underneath you, and with every exhale, sink into that support. Every inhale, notice the back of the ribs lifting towards the ceiling. And notice the top and the bottom of the breath, too. No one part more important than the other. Option to stay here. Option to slowly walk the fingers out ahead of you, right onto fingertips, forearms lifted. Push down with the fingers and draw back through the hips. Breathing into the back of the ribs, the whole back body. Option to walk the fingertips slowly over towards the left. Draw the right hip back. Breathe into the right side of the body. Breathe into what you're feeling and sensing. 
And then as we exhale, allow some softness to happen. And then walking back to center in your own time, aware of everything, and over to the other side. Over to the right, drawing the left hip towards the left, finding your pose here, your shape. Breathing into the sensations you feel, adjusting and adapting that shape to suit you. No one part of the breath or the movement of the breath more important than the other. And then when you're ready, back to center. Coming up in your own time, noticing how you feel. And then from here, we're coming over onto our back, nice and slow, noticing as you move what you're feeling, as you come all the way down, readjusting yourself, always knowing that you can add extra softness. Take a big breath in, exhale it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Notice how it feels to be upside down now on your back, opposite to where you were. Feet around about a comfortable hip distance ish, whatever feels best for you. And then the hands come down next to your hips, as wide or as close together as you like. Palms turn down. Feel the support underneath all the different parts of your body. From your feet, your pelvis, up through your spine, shoulders, arms to fingertips and thumbs, all the way up to the um, back of your head. Take some of those more mindful breaths, noticing how you feel. And then placing your hands on top of the hip tips or those top of the pelvis. <clears throat> on an inhale, as if I picked up your belly button towards the sky, arching your back. That's the inhale. On the exhale, pushing the belly button down and towards the mat and feeling the tailbone lift a little. On the inhale, as you lift up through the belly, as if the tailbone moves down towards the sky, starting to notice gentle movements through the pelvis as we tilt anterior and posterior tilts. But again, we're focusing on the transition. So we're not interested in how big the movement is here. We want the entire movement to flow through the inhale and exhale, allowing the movement to get as fluid as we possibly can. And it is incredibly slow. You might even notice how you can help that with your feet. On the inhale, as the belly lifts, you can imagine dragging your heels back towards your seat. And on the exhale, as the belly comes in towards the spine and the mat, there's a pushing away of the feet, and you may even notice how the pelvis, uh, the tailbone, scoops even more. So option to stay here. Option to keep the movement going, taking the hand down by the hips. Either side, palms facing down. The inhale, the belly lifts. On the exhale, as you push the feet away from you, curling the tailbone up, maybe lifting up through the whole pelvis. Exhaling, we're peeling up and down through each vertebrae. So again, we're not interested in how high we come. We want the full transition 
up and down as if we're moving through molasses. And notice if there's one part of your spine you tend to move, um, leave out. And maybe on that exhale, as you peel up the spine, you can come all the way towards the shoulders. But again, we're not interested in height at all. We don't think about how high those hips come. We want the movement through the entire spine. Mm -hmm. Two more. The transition. Noticing what's happening in your legs just as much as the spine. Mm -hmm. And coming all the way back down to support. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out as you soften and release any tension that may have built up. And from there, you're going to draw in that right knee. Give it a little hug. Point and flex the foot, so getting in through the ankle, but also through the lower leg. You might even notice your calf and your shin shifting as the muscles, tendons, and ligaments move. Mm -hmm. Then the hand comes to, the hands come to the outside or um, behind the knee of the right leg. And on the inhale, we're extending, exhale, curling. And that leg doesn't have to come anywhere near straight, but we want the entire inhale and the entire exhale. Option to stay here. Option to shift the knee up towards the sky. Again, you have the thigh or behind the knee and we're extending and flexing through the knee. You can keep a little flex in that ankle if you want to. That'll get more into the back of the right leg. And the next time that foot comes up, option to stay. Pushing through the heel of the foot, bringing the toes back towards you again. It can be a bend in that knee, it can be extended, your choice. Steady the breath. Option to walk the hand further up towards the shin, but slowly noticing what's happening as that happens. On your next exhale, your hands walk back towards the thigh and we're curling that in. From there, foot comes down, take a breath in. Exhale it out, slow and steady, noticing how you're feeling. And then from here, we're coming to the other side. So that knee is drawing in, left knee draws in, give it a little curl in towards your ribs pointing and flexing through that ankle. Again, the transition. So it doesn't matter how much or how little we move, we want the entire inhale and exhale taken up with the movement, as if we're moving through honey. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we're curling that knee in, Hands come to the outside or underneath that knee. This is the exhale on the inhale. We're extending, exhaling, curling. And that leg doesn't have to come anywhere near straight. Not interested in the size of the movement. We want the full inhale and full exhale. Option to stay here. Option to extend the knee up towards the sky. And we're moving through that knee flank flexion and extension. A little flex in that left foot is gonna get more into the back of the left leg. 
use that exhale just as much as the inhale. So you're really paying attention to what's happening in your body. Next time the foot comes up, option to stay. Again, heel pushes away, toes come back towards you. You're breathing that steady breath. Option to stay here. Option to walk the hand further up towards the shin. Maybe that leg comes um, further up towards the ceiling or even overhead. That knee can be bent or straight. You get to decide your experience here, but the breath, you're noticing the entire breath. You're noticing everything that your body's telling you about this as you pay attention to it all. And on that exhale, as the hands walk down, curl in through the heel and take the foot back to the floor, noticing that support underneath you. When you're ready, shifting your hips up and towards the right side. Arms in a cactus or a T. And notice how it feels here with your hips shifted towards the right. Knees draw up and towards the chest. Gaze up towards the sky as you bring the knees over to one side, supporting them or bringing them all the way over that right shoulder is lifted you can support it or support underneath your knees to bring that right shoulder down to support if there's any other twist you want to take go ahead breathing into the entire right side of your body option to take the right or the gaze over that right shoulder Again, noticing the whole breath. Noticing the movement of the breath in your body. Noticing if you need to adjust or adapt anything. And then when you're ready, the gaze comes to center. Feel the foundation underneath you as you draw everything up to center. Feet to the floor, shift the hips back to center and over towards the left. And notice here how that feels. With awareness to the breath, the knees come in and over. Left shoulder grounded or supported, or maybe you need to support underneath your knees or shins. Whatever feels better for you. There's no right and wrong. The shoulders rooted, you can gaze over that left shoulder. Steady breath. Notice as you slow your awareness into the breath. Notice the information you're getting from your body, from your intuition, adjusting to accommodate for that. Breathing into the left side of your body. Breathing into tightness so we can offer ourselves soft. With a couple of breaths here, you can always come out early, of course. Gaze comes to center. And then up we come to center to you, slowly readjusting your body back to a central place. Feel the foundation of the floor underneath you as you draw your knees in, curling through the spine. Knees can be wide or together, you can rock and roll here. Allow the movement to fill your awareness. Notice if you're becoming impatient with yourself or if you're tuning in more to what it is that feels better for you. 
any other awareness or movement you need, go ahead before we finish up. See if whatever it is that you're doing, you're noticing every small part of it before we come back and choose a place of relaxation. So tune inwards. Notice what it is you need here to be on your belly, on your side, in your bed. And then take yourself to that place slowly and carefully. And as you get situated, I'll come to a seat to guide you. So making sure that you tune in and ask yourself exactly what it is that you need here. Settling down, offering yourself another layer of warmth, offering yourself an eye pillow to turn the lights out, whatever it is that you need. And when you're settled, take a big breath in, exhale it out and allow the practice to start to dissolve and wash away. Another few breaths just like that. Feel the support underneath you and sink into that support all the way down to the deepest marrow of your bones, getting heavy. And notice if slowing down and paying attention to what's going on in your body tunes you in even deeper to what it is that you need in this moment and give yourself permission to take whatever it is that you need. When you're ready, take a big breath in all the way to the top of your breath. Hold right at the top and exhale it out soft and long. Three more like that. We'll take a big breath in, hold at the top with that held breath, soften and relax any muscles. Take another sip of breath in all the way up. Hold once more, relax. Take one more breath, fill all the way to the top. Hold for a beat, exhale it out. Allow the breath to wash away. Allowing yourself to come back to the softest breath yet. making any last adjustments you need to, to find the most comfort that you can. Allowing your thoughts to float away like a cloud on a blue sky. find the space within each soft, almost effortless breath to be aware of so much.
we inhale and exhale, we can expand our awareness to notice every part of the breath. Everything we're doing with our bodies within that breath. How our bodies respond to the breath as the breath comes in and out. within those breaths we have the option to adjust and adapt things to suit ourselves to what it is we're experiencing in this moment deep relaxation, still you have awareness to it all, as we learn to slow down and pay attention to the bits in between, focusing more on the journey rather than the destination. Stay here for as long as you like. For those of you who would like to finish your practice, simply tune your awareness into the space around you, the support underneath you, the temperature of the room. Your body resting as it is. the easy breath, and maybe inviting in a little deeper inhale, a little longer exhale. As you start to awaken your body with different lazy, slow movements, as you're aware of everything, awakening in your own intuitive way, curling in or stretching, or a little bit of both. And noticing after all that, if your go-to is to jump up and finish, and just be aware of the transition in between. As you come to a place of completing your practice, whatever that means for you. And slowing to choose a place, a gesture of closing that feels right in this moment. Rooting to rise Noticing your breath, and on an exhale, closing your eyes if you haven't already, chin down towards your chest. And notice just this moment, notice how you feel. And consider taking this awareness to transitions into your day, your week ahead paying attention to the bits in between. From my heart to yours, thank you for practicing today. Namaste.